for number 52, my favorite number, uh, x cubed y equals negative 4, uh, you're going to find x-intercepts, y-intercepts, and so on. But let's start with the symmetry. So we're going to start with symmetry. Uh, x acts as symmetry. So hold your arm, your left arm out, negative x. Hold your right arm out, negative y, or positive x. So negative x, positive x, what symmetry is it? Y, y axis. So we're going to check for y axis symmetry. So how we're going to do that is we're going to put in a negative x. If it turns out to be the same equation, then we know we have y-axis symmetry because negative x, positive x is symmetrical with the y. Yeah? You put in a negative x and you get the same thing. The same left thing, you get the same y. When we do x-axis symmetry, take your arms, go up, y, go down negative y, what's, this, what's it symmetrical with? The x-axis. So that's how you get x-axis symmetry. So notice we do the opposite. For the y-axis, we have a negative x. For the x-axis, we put in a negative y. We also notice for the x and y intercepts, if you want to find the x intercept, you put y equals 0. For the y intercepts, you put x equals 0. All right. So. We take this equation, negative x cubed y equal negative 4. So wherever there was an x, I replaced it with a negative x. Now, uh, what is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1? Negative x cubed y equal negative 4. And this is not the same. So we don't have y-axis. Oh, how sad. Let's try uh, x-axis symmetry. So we go plus y, negative y. You can really see that uh, x-axis symmetry. So wherever we have a y, we replace it with a negative y. So we have x cubed opposite of y equals negative 4. So this can be distributed out in front, making it negative x cubed y equal negative 4. Is that the same as this? Is it the same? No. Nope. So we'd say not same. Therefore, no x-axis. Well, we're going to try one more thing, and that is, let's try both. Let's try f of negative x and f of negative y. Try both. Both is origin symmetry. Okay? So, here goes. Negative x cubed, negative y equals negative 4. Negative, negative, negative is negative x cubed. The negative of the y can be distributed out in front, making that positive. Is that the same or not the same from the original? x cubed y equal negative 4 is same. Same. So therefore we have origin symmetry. Does that help a little bit? So to find the x-intercepts, we're going to let y equal 0. And if we set y equal to 0, we're going to get x cubed times y equal negative 4. And 4 y equals 0, this is 0. And what is anything times 0? Zero? 0. 0. Is 0 ever equal to negative 4? No. Never. That means there are no x-intercepts. Does that make you feel better? That was the part that bugged you out. Yeah? Um, you That's fine. You can if you want. Would be, do you, nope, you don't need to. It would be the same effect. So let's do the y-intercepts. So for the y-intercepts, we're going to let x equal to 0. Now if x equals 0, you're going to get 0 cubed times y equal negative 4. Well, what's anything times 0? 0. So 0, is that ever equal to negative 4? Never. So there are no y-intercepts. So that's um, frustrating. 
because now you don't have anything to reference, right? But what we could do with the sample points is we could do what you mentioned, solve for y, negative 4 over x cubed. And you can put in like x is 1. If I put an x is 1, what's the y value going to be? Negative 4. Let's put it at 2. What will that be? Negative 4 over 8, which is negative 1 half. So there's two points. 1, negative 4. 2, negative 1 half. If you put in a um, 4, it's going to be like 1 16th. Negative 1 16th. Okay. So this is going to go something like that. You'll be able to use your calculator if you needed to plot points that are difficult. I don't think you have a calculator on the test, so it's, they won't be difficult. Would you draw that for me? And then tell me, what does the rest look like? Remember, we learned the symmetry stuff. Why did we learn the symmetry stuff? Because we're lazy? No, we're efficient. efficient. That's right. So, if you know this, and which symmetry did we have? Origin. Origin. So then you can draw this, and you're done. That's 52. Did that help with 52? Who asked it? And did you see how there's no x-intercepts, no y-intercepts? Okay, you go ahead.